happy Sunday. It is the weekend still, which makes me very happy. However, I need to get up and go to drop my car off because it's being serviced today, which is super glamorous, but sometimes you just have to do life admin. Yeah, so I'm gonna need to kill a fair bit of time up in um, North London. So where QuickFit is that I'm dropping my car off, uh, there is an area nearby that has like a Poundland, and I've not been to Poundland in forever, so I wanna go and see what Christmas treats they have. And then I guess I'll come back here, have a chilled afternoon, and then fingers crossed my car doesn't need any work doing to it. So, advent update. I tried this uh, Fresh Rain Gin, if I can get it in focus, um, yesterday, and it was okay. It kind of tasted like trees in gin, so not my fave. And then um, my friend tried the Bush Tucker, Bush Tucker Gin, it was okay as well, I had a sip, um, we weren't really vibing that, so um, we kind of had like a good, good, bad, good, okay, bad, but it's good to try different things, so let's see where number, what day is it today? And today's crazy gin is Yuzu Jin. What is Yuzu? Is that like a fruit? I do like the little pictures on them. Um, yeah, we'll give that a go probably tomorrow. Right, I already was meant to have left like five minutes ago, so I will see you at Poundland. Bye! Yeah, so we're just headed into Poundland now, and I'm just going to show you the Christmas bits. Oh my god, I love this movie. It's so cute. Love a bonbon and a pound. What else have we got? There seems to be a lot more, like, what do you call it? Like, licensed product? Licensed product now? Little frozen set there. That's a cute little gift. Yeah, they got loads of snowman stuff. Snowman and the dog. He looks a bit squashed, if I'm honest with you. Let's see if we can get a cute one. It's a little hard candy pop lollipop. Yum. Candy canes. What other crimbo stuff? Yeah, there's loads of bargains in here. Got celebrations for two pounds. They usually think about two pounds in Tesco. Gosh, you can tell that I'm hungry. I haven't had breakfast yet today. I love like mint creams and things like that. I think that middle one is Turkish Delight. That's only two pounds. And then after eight, oh my gosh, I love after eight so much. I love mint chocolate. These are amazing. I would eat these all year round, but the problem is, is I don't share them with anyone. I eat all of them. Then we got some premium Fox's biscuits there and then some other little sweet boxes for two pounds. So not too bad. Now, selection boxes were like a huge thing when I was a kid. I don't know how much of a deal they are these days, but they're usually a pound. It's more packaging than chocolate, I would say. So if you're into the environment, maybe don't buy selection boxes. <laughs> yeah, so we've got loads of chocolate treats for Christmas, which is fab. Some of this I think they usually have. Um, so for example, mint nights, how funny is that? That seems like a bigger box and it's a pound rather than two pounds, so fake after eights. Terry's chocolate orange. I'm not a fan of chocolate orange. I don't know what's wrong with me. Everyone at work thinks I'm mad because I don't like them. Then you've got the larger selection boxes here. Love Galaxy so much for three pounds. Uh, what else have we got? Freddo. So Freddo in the UK is dairy milk chocolate and it's like a little frog. But these back in the day were get like a little chocolate. I think they were like 10p or something like that and now they're super expensive. But it's always nice to get a little tin. And then, oh, they have the Oreo tin. I feel like this was the same as the one we saw in Tesco. I can't remember how much it was. So it'd be interesting to see. I might click back on that vlog and see how much that was. But I'm liking these like mugs that come with like cookies. So these crunchy melts are incredible. I've had them before. I bought them for my team at work. They are yummy but cute to come with a little snowman mug. What else have we got? Ooh, panettone for two pounds. What's the filling in it? Raisins and dried fruit. I like the ones with chocolate. Oh, and it's interesting to see these. So I bought the, what were they, like snowman or something? Yeah, reindeers, can't remember, the other day. And these are two pounds. I don't know how much I paid in Tesco, but I love caramel. Cadbury's caramel is literally like my fave chocolate. Then some other gifting ideas here. I've seen a lot of 12 days of Christmas advent rather than the full 24 days, but here you get a little um, nail varnish kit, it looks a bit like a bauble, but for three pound that is a very nice little gift. Yeah, they've got quite a few. This must be like their own brand. I can't see that it's branded anywhere, but yeah, you get your 12 days of Christmas. Let's see what's on it. Right, so you get a couple of, well, four bath bombs, a body butter, a body scrub, and a little like scrubby, what do you call that? Um, a scrubby star, we'll call it that. Yeah, that's that's nice. I think that's 
a really good idea because some of these beauty ones for 24 days are so expensive so I think for three quid you can't really go wrong. Loads and loads of decorations here, um, we've even got Frozen 2 branded wrapping paper. I'm telling you everywhere is licensed products now, it's pretty amazing. Um, what else have we got? I love a gift bag. Also gift bags are usually so expensive so it's really great to come in somewhere like Poundland and get them for cheap as chips. Then some non-food things, they've got these little what are these like little key tags? Oh no, they're gift tags. Okay. Mm, not crazy on those. I think they're a bit naff. They don't they don't look like they've been made too well, so I'll take a skip on those. Oh, we've got some Christmas treats here, the Grinch favoured marshmallows. And those are only 50p. Oh, that's really good value. And they don't you know sometimes with like cheap food they look really funky. These look pretty good. I would eat those now. <laughs> Okay, and then we've got a Christmas Yule Log here, um, Buttercup Bakery branded, and that is also a pound in the pound shop. Oh, and then we've got caramel flavour slices. They look really good. I've been looking in Tesco and things to see if there's any other things that are new from Mr. Kipling. Love Mr. Kipling. Winter Whirl. What is this? Is this jam? Yeah, spiced apple jam and a smooth creme filling, cream filling. Yum. And we've got these like mini boxes for 75p. Got a little box of minstrels. Revels, I'm not the biggest fan because I don't like getting the coffee ones. And M&Ms. And then we've got this whole little unit here of napkins. Now I find like seasonal napkins actually really expensive. I bought some in Tesco and Waitrose a little while ago and I thought they were quite steep. So you get to 20 and they're a little bit smaller than usual. And these are, well, I think these are all a pound, but they've got loads of them, so this is quite fun. Maybe I should get some. And the elf on the shelf is back, apart from he's called Elf Mates in here, that's quite funny. But yeah, we've got all the little outfits, some bunting, some tree decorations, some more little outfits for him there, and some other craft things. And then they have this huge section here. Christmas starts here, definitely. You've got lights, decorations, Christmas cards, and other gift bags and things. So let's see what they've got. Oh, I like this blue theme that they've got going on here. That's really, really nice. And it looks slightly more premium, I would say, but sometimes like you don't want to have to keep doing washing up. So actually, like on Boxing Day or um, like the day after, my sister and I always use like kind of fun paper plates and stuff, not paper cups, because um, it's just easier just to chuck it in the bin. Uh, but yeah, these are really cute. I'm assuming everything is a pound, because I'm in pound land. But yeah, lots to pick from, and it does look way more premium than I thought it would be. Oh, I love shortbreads, and shortbread fingers are really good, because they kind of help a little bit with portion control. Um, but these look scrummy. And then they've got, now they've called these a jammy shortbread festive rounds. Essentially, it's a jammy dodger. Love a jammy dodger, so that's quite cute. I think that's quite expensive, because I feel like you don't get much in that. Um, versus a shortbread is a lot more of a substantial biscuit, I would say. And then more shortbreads to pick from. These are a pound. I love it when you do get the little shapes and stuff. I think they're fun and they're really good for dunking in your tea. Oh my god, Smarties are orange. I'm not sure about that. Have you ever tried those? Orange Smarties? Hmm, I bet they don't sell many of those. They've got the pink ones and then the normal ones. And then what else have we got? I've not tried these, but someone in my team had them and apparently they're amazing. White chocolate Twix fingers. Um, and then more selection boxes. Dairy, oh, dairy box. I have to say, I think they are like the worst boxes of chocolates that you can get. They literally all taste the same. And then they've got some advent calendars at 50p. Obviously trying to get rid of them. And then we're into the liqueur section. Not a liqueur person myself, but do you know what? For a pound, that's a really, really good buy because usually the liqueur, liqueur chocolates are pretty expensive. And then we've got mince pies for a pound. Most supermarkets do have a box of six for a pound now. I think it's kind of the price now that you um, are expected to pay. Oh my gosh, I was saying that that didn't have enough shortbread in it. Be careful what you wish for. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh no, they're two pound. I think that's fair enough. Okay, let's go into Aldi. I'm only going to show you the crimbo things. Carnage already. So they've got celebrations. Four pounds, the same price I think as everywhere else. Ooh, mince pies. 
a 59p that is a lot cheaper than other places they usually a pound oh and they've got like a snacky bit section they usually have this but there's like extra stuff in here like bread and mozzarella sticks for 159 oh my gosh yum and the cheese in here is usually amazing they have fantastic selections so you get a whole cheese pack there for 379 and then a little platter there for four, for 4.99 even all their disney wrapping paper for five meters oh my gosh that's loads and they've got marvel is 99p whoa that's way cheaper than everywhere else of course you've got frozen i can see a little bit of toy story 4 now what marvel ones have they got to do, do, do this is testing me now what's marvel oh here we go the avengers i always think christmas crackers are an absolute ripoff but for three pound for 12 i don't mind paying that we actually have some leftover ones from last year, so we're going to use those instead. Chocolate reindeers at 59p. I'm not sure what type of chocolate that would be, but they're basically a copy of the Lint reindeers, which are amazing, but they're a lot more money. Milk tray at 2.99. They're probably the second worst chocolates that you can get. They just all taste the same. They're super boring. I don't know if you agree with me on that one. And then they have, oh my gosh, a Prosecco panettone here for 6.49. It's quite expensive but oh it's got orange and cranberry in it that's something a little bit special for sure oh and they've got this huge treat sections with different cakes and all sorts so let's just see what they've got dark chocolates for a fiver oh that's nice for four pounds christmas classics that packaging really reminds me of hotel chocolat so no doubt they've been inspired um merry toddies <laughs> and festive favorites sweet and spiced Stolen bites with Jamaican rum. I'm not massively short they are, but they're 2 99 I bet they're pretty yummy. Oh, and a stolen, is that what you call it? A luxury stolen for 3 99 Fancy crackers, I love a cracker. Even if it's not Christmas, I wish that we had fun crackers all year at 1 99 Yule log, now question, have you ever actually finished an entire Yule log between the people that you're eating it with? They're so sicky, but they're so yummy. For $2.99 and then they've obviously got more premium mince pies. I do love it when they've got like stars on the top and they're a little bit smaller. I just prefer them with slightly less filling. Ooh, and they have slow gin ones. What is that? Slow gin topped with flaked almonds for $2.49. I definitely would get those. They look really yummy. And then black forest crumble mince pies. I feel like there's so many more flavors of mince pies this year. And then you've got a vintage Christmas pudding for $12.99. Um, yeah, you are in London, so <laughs> even food gets security tagged sometimes. And then you've got all turkey stuffing crisps and some other Christmas tree like shaped tortillas, although they're all a little bit smashed. I always like getting these kind of things like bars of nugget or nougat, however you pronounce it. So for two pounds, that's really cheap because these types of presents are actually really expensive. Or oh, like the peanut brittle one. And then we have the iced fruit cake. I'm not a massive fruit cake fan, but oh my gosh, that's so heavy. That is beautifully decorated. Then we have the chocolate and salted caramel bomb cake. That looks really nice and that is only two pounds. I think that's a nice little treat. Is that per person? Can you eat? Oh no, serves two. Oh, that's no fun. No, I definitely could eat all that. And then lastly, there are some Christmas puddings here for $4.49 and seven pounds. Oh, and we've got lots and lots of treats along this aisle. And I definitely have beat the rush. It's getting busy behind me. So we've got like chocolate mint chocolate mint is like a big thing in the uk i don't know if it's like a global thing but christmas is all about after eight some chocolate mint and we've got kind of the same selection boxes and things that we saw in the other store um actually no i take that back these are a little bit different these are like what do you call them like assortment boxes with cakes in them that's a really nice thing i didn't see that last year but some cadbury ones for four pounds so not the cheapest if i'm honest with you and then kind of strawberry creams and orange creams i prefer mint ones so we'll keep our eyes out and see if there's any mint ones mini stolen i'm like not aware of what this is but the guy next to me just bought eight of the large ones because he had his like wife loves them um marzipan stolen and it looks like it's german so yeah that must be like a proper traditional thing and that is only oh my god it's only 99p or oh, maybe i should buy one and try it they have definitely been inspired by <laughs> lint again with their own label i think that's kind of their own label um reindeers and a little santa and a little tray more iced fruit cakes what else have we got some nuts your entry price christmas puddings 
Um, oh wow, this all looks super yummy, doesn't it? Christmas slices, more Mr. Kipling. Love Mr. Kipling. They look yummy and they come in little uh, duo packs there for $1.49. Turkish Delight, not the biggest fan. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. For $4.99, okay. A pre-made gingerbread house. Can you see that? That's pretty epic. But I feel like half the fun is actually trying to get it to stick together. So you get the house, you get some icing, gummy bears, and basically some Smarties. That's fun, I think if you can't deal with the arguments of trying to stick one together. Yeah, that's quite fun. And then we have some more premium like biscuits. Oh wow, look at this musical biscuit tin for eight pounds. That's pretty epic, isn't it? Wow. And then you've got some other shortbread tins here as well. Oh, and they really do have loads of Christmas bits in here. Those chocolates look amazing at 6 dollars And then we've got the, nat the standard big brands. And then we have got, oh, melt in the mouth. It's this fudge, oh, maple salt fudge. That looks so good for $1.69. So that's quite a nice little grab and go purchase. You got some truffles and then some actual, is this actual alcohol along here? Irish cream. Some more novelty things here with some biscuits in. That's a fun tin to get. And then we have chocolate Santas for 89p. Again, not sure what the chocolate would be like in them, but chocolate is chocolate at the end of the day. Okay, and if you are a Baileys fan, this is basically like fake Baileys. It's not quite as good and it's not as thick, but for 3.79 versus Baileys, this is so much cheaper. Right, and that was Aldi. So I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the treats that they have there. I am so hungry now, this is ridiculous. The other shops. Right, there are two pound lands along here, so let's check out this one. Again, lots of chockies to pick from. Pretty much the same that we saw in the other store. This is actually a bigger store, so let's see what's different. Oh my gosh, what? These are so yummy. These remind me of being a kid. When they like animal crackers back in the day. Yeah, they've got some good co cookies and biscuits in here. Definitely a few more to choose from. Now they've got some more premium chocolates in here. I don't know how you pronounce this, I can't remember. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of these because they are so intense, but these are usually really expensive, so for a pound, that's absolutely brilliant. And then, oh, they do them as like little chocolate bars. Yeah, if you like this chocolate, that is an absolute bargain. I swear these used to be like five quid when I was younger. Yeah, we've got some fake Ferrero Rochers, I would say, um, in a little pot. I don't know how many you get, but I'm liking all these little like boxes. They're good for like stocking fillers. And then we have got some Christmas boxes. They're probably quite good to even keep. I don't think you should throw those away after using them, but yeah, great. And you can also buy your own hamper box and fill it, so that's a good idea. Yeah, although this is a bigger store, they don't seem to have more Christmas stuff, which is really surprising. They've got a few extra tins. Oh, what's this one? Prosecco boiled sweets. Oh, I'm not sure how they'll taste. But then all the other bits and bobs, but in more volume, I guess. Ah, uh, they have a few more things in the blue selection, such as the plates, the wine glasses, and a few more little decorations. And then we have got some fun hairbands here for a pound. I tried to get some in accessories yesterday, but the till was broken, so maybe I need to get some in here for my niece. Yeah, oh, an inflatable reindeer. What else do you need in your life? A snowman as well. <laughs> I mean, if you need this in your life, it's dirt cheap and it's super fun, so why not? And then we've got some further decorations down here. Now that was not the best pound land. It was carnage in there and it just was a copy and paste. I just popped into Iceland. I haven't been to Iceland for about 15 years. So let's see what they have. First off, this brand, I think it's been the same brand in all of these stores, Patterson's. They are making them in on the shortbread. How big is this? Oh my gosh, I wonder how many. Two times 500 gram trays. I don't know what that means, but that sounds amazing. And for three pounds, that seems to be much better value. Saying that, something that um, a lot of people don't realize is on every shelf edge label sticker, whether you're at Waitrose, whether you're at Iceland, they have to say what it is per like 100 grams or per unit. So you can see here on this little pack here, it is 26.3p per 100 grams. But where I was just blabbing on about how, what better value this one is, it's not because it's actually slightly more money at 30p per 100 grams. I don't know if that's a UK thing, but it's really good and I use it all the time from, you name it, toilet roll, shampoo, through to alcohol. Okay, the mince 
Supply Wars continue. You've got two for three pounds here on their luxury ones. So everyone seems to be having a tier higher on their mince pies and then they have their entry ones, 12 mince pies for, wow, only 189. They do look like they might be a bit smaller, but that's, that's the cheapest I think we've seen. Ooh, I'm very happy. Look at all the shelf above the freezers in here. It is Christmas galore. And we've got Mr. Kipling represented there with everything basically at one pound or one pound 50. But they are the things we've seen previously, so I'm not gonna delve too much into that. I do really like these mini Christmas cakes. Uh, obviously a lot of places have got them, but two pounds, I can't remember how much the ones were in Tesco, but I think they're so cute. Well, Iceland weren't very happy with me filming, so I left. <laughs> but I'm now in m and I'm gonna show you slightly more premium things um, that you can get on the high street. Starting with the flower selection. Oh my gosh. I absolutely adore flowers and M&S always have beautiful, beautiful flowers and they're really, really good for gifting. So they always come in cute pots or in like cute gift bags. But I am here for the food and they have got some yummy like little bites. I always like it when you get little pieces of cake. So I think that's a really good idea. And they're 3 50 each at four for three. And then Christmas tin wise you've got the nice little spinny one that's a musical tin there for five pound which I don't think is too bad and then you've got the shortbreads again in a cute tin panettone there and then some other great chocolate selections I do sometimes buy these in the year but they are a treat because the type of biscuits that every biscuit is basically like a full chocolate bar and into the cakes they have got a few yummy looking ones. I always like the packaging in here. Obviously it's a lot more money, um, but oh, vintage Christmas pudding for 14 pounds in a, oh gosh, that's rather heavy, in a huge, huge casing. Got the standard, oh, Dundee cake. I don't mind Dundee cake. I find it's not quite as dense as Christmas cake, or am I wrong? That's, that's my view of it. Um, then they have got gluten-free as well, so made without wheat selection. They've got quite a few things there, which is good. I always get gifted these from someone. They're little like um, chocolate balls, but they look like sprouts. They're so cute. And then they haven't got many left, obviously, the little Santas as well. But three for two on basically everything. Then the standard mince pies. There's no price on them, so I'm not sure how much they are. And then they have got their more premium ones. Premium ones tend to always have like a little window so you can see how fancy they are. And they are 250, so you know, quite expensive. And then they've got some other things, some puff pastry ones, and what is that? How do I say that? I'm not sure. MS are great for chocolate presents, and they are quite expensive, as I said. Um, but it looks like this star is new, a shimmering star full of chocolates for a tenner. And then they've got some other beautiful chocolates up there. And then they do tend to have, I think, like these throughout the whole year. But these shimmering milk chocolate acorns look new. Oh, and pine cones. Wow, pine cones are definitely a thing this year as well. Then some other gifting bits here. Brandy snaps, love those. And a little alcohol gift there. Biscuits for cheese and a little Prosecco. I love it when you get a gift. It's like Prosecco with some chockies. Oh, and there's some others at the bottom that I nearly missed. I love it when you get chocolates with alcohol as a gift. Ah, and m and have got a gingerbread house kit. Oh, if I can get it out without breaking it. Oh, it's Diddy. Okay. Yeah, you get the full thing. Do you get any decorations? And of course, you've got the icing and some sweet decorations. So it looks quite small, but for £5, I think that's really good value. And then there's one here. Oh, that's a different shape. Mm. Oh, you actually bake it yourself. Just add water, golden syrup and water. Ah, okay, so if you're a bit more into cooking, that's a good alternative. Now these tubs are the epitome of working in an office and I was just seeing if they had any Christmas ones and they have these snowy Yule log bites. Okay, I don't love the white lid on the top. I think that looks a bit manky, but I'm sure those are scrummy and they are included in the offer. And then you've got mini meringues as well. Are mini meringues normal? I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, for a second I actually thought these were real satsumas and I was like, the packaging is too small. So you've got 12 giant sprouts and satsumas, which are basically um, chocolate orange flavoured balls for £5. That's a fun gift. Quite expensive, but I think that's fun. Interesting to see the price comparison to here to... Um, was it Aldi I was in or Lidl? I can't remember. Um, but this little cheese board bite is £9. That's so expensive compared to where we just went. Um, but, you know, you're paying for m and I guess. I don't know if it's actually that much better. But they've got some cute little, um, like, gifting boxes at the bottom. I'm loving that red wine with the two vintage cheeses. And that was...
was a super quick kind of comparison between an entry price food store like Poundland, obviously they don't really do much fresh food, and then somewhere like Marks and Spencer's, M&S, which is a lot more expensive and higher up on the price scale. So I'm sure there was a little bit bodged together, but you know, UK in the stores, I don't know about the other countries, you do get in trouble for filming. So Iceland, they were cool, but they were like, nah, we'd rather you not. I'm very pleased with myself. I have walked like over 40 minutes towards my road and I'm nearly there. I've just got myself a sandwich from Tesco and uh, yeah, I've still got like another three, three and a half hours before I can go and pick up my car. So I'm gonna go home and also go and watch some other people's vlogmases, Vlogmai. I wanna kind of call it Vlogmai. I'm gonna watch some Vlogmai. And it's quite nice to show London when it's not raining and dark. This is very strange. Like my eyes feel a little bit like blurry today. I think because being out in daylight is, um, yeah, it's not normal. <laughs> Yeah, and do let me know whether you find um, like the food comparisons and seeing what kind of Christmas treats we have in store here in London interesting. Obviously a lot of it's very, very similar to the rest of the UK, but personally I find it interesting and I would be looking at them anyway regardless of vlogging it. Right guys, I hope you enjoyed my kind of weird bodged uh, food vlog here today. Um, I got myself some quavers, so I'm going to enjoy them and I am going to sit and watch some Christmas YouTube and maybe a Christmas movie this afternoon. Later on, I am going out with my friends to the pub to get a Sunday roast, which will be nice. I'm actually not gonna vlog that because um, I don't wanna have like cameras in my friends' faces all the time. Who knows, in a few months time, they might get used to it. But thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Merry Christmas!